When I was 12. When I was 12. My 12 year old self. Was, if I could give any advice if to I my 12 year old self. Advice. Hey, we're Ben and Liam, and we are part-time cage fighters and radio hosts, but mostly radio hosts. When I was 12, I was very zitty, bit of a grease bowl. I was very stinky, very impressionable, excitable and talkative. Um, I was quite naughty in school, I think. I was never that good in school. And I had the same haircut that I do now, which is, I mean, you can kind of, you can work that out from just looking at me. I didn't have the moustache, though. That's a new... And you know what, I'll probably watch this back and it, the moustache will be gone. When I was 12, boys were expected to, I guess, play sport. Boys were expected not to cry, not to share their emotions. I still kind of feel like that, I think. When I was 12, uh, boys were expected to play sport, be pretty good at it. Um, the guys at my school were also very muscly. If I could give my 12-year-old self any advice, it would probably be to invest in Bitcoin. I think we've all seen where that's gone. Uh, and I would be rolling in it right now if I was able to talk to my 12-year-old self. If I could give any advice to my 12-year-old self, it would be don't try and be someone you're not, I suppose. I, I can remember going to the gym quite a lot because my friends were going and it was never really working for me and I didn't really enjoy it either. So I'd say stay away from gyms uh, and just focus on getting a radio show because that's, um, that's what worked for you in the end anyway. <laughs> if I could go back and tell myself anything, I probably wouldn't because I... I kind of think you need to figure things out for yourself and if you kind of cheat by getting told the answer, then you don't learn the lesson. So I think I probably would choose not to tell my 12-year-old self anything. Top tips I'd give boys today are just be yourself. Um, be responsible for your actions, not uh, ever blame things on boys will be boys or, or lads' behaviour. It's all right to have feelings and to talk about your feelings. I think um, something that I was never told when I was younger. Uh, it's all right to cry, it's all right to feel things. Um, yeah, don't be afraid of, of your emotions and to talk about them with other people as well. I think bravery is uh, standing up for what you believe in. No, it's not. Yes, it is, and I won't have another word about it. Sorry. To me, being a man is, yeah, being responsible for yourself. I don't know if anyone ever, like, comes out of a room and shakes your hand and tells you that you're a man. Maybe on the day you get married, maybe, does your dad shake your hand and say, congratulations, son, you've become a man. I don't know. That's what they do in the movies. What would 12-year-old Ben think of modern-day Ben? I, without saying too corny, would be pretty proud, I reckon. He chuffed, I think. He'd go, yeah, that's all right. We did all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think the 12-year-old me would look at me now and go, is that me? Really? Why am I talking so high? Because <laughs> I'm 12. That's how, I, <laughs> that's how I talked when I was 12. Probably give myself a high five, I reckon. When I was 12, I was expected to work at the corner shop for 12 shillings every Sunday to help out my four sisters and nine brothers. You couldn't tell it from looking at Liam, he's actually 95. I'm very old. I was born before the war. It was a tough time. It was a very tough time.